Hello everybody. Today's video I want to tell you guys a little backstory on my comics and how I got into comics and why I got into comics. Pretty much to start off is when I was younger I got into comics a little bit but I never got real serious into it. I had maybe 20 books, 25 books, you know, never really got hardcore into it uh, until I started having kids and became a parent. Once I became a father, it seems like this hobby just exploded into something that is just great. You know, I just have so much fun with it and they, they have so much fun with it and we kind of feed off of each other's, you know, enjoyment for the books. Yep. Um, when I was a kid, my first book that I bought was Uncanny X-Men 300. This was, you know, my first book that I purchased. And I want to say I was probably about his age at the time. And, uh, but it wasn't until, like I said, it wasn't until I became a parent that kind of got this thing going on. Because, you know, like I said, I only had, you know, less than 50 books as, as a youngster. And didn't buy a single comic, you know, from the time that I was his age until he was about three years old was when I bought his first comic book. And then once I bought his first comic book, it just snowballed. And, you know, now it's just a, it's a passion. And uh, the very first book that I bought him that kind of got the ball rolling was this. It was all Winter Squad Band of Heroes, Captain America. It was a eight series run that they never finished, which is very upsetting because that was, you know, his first run that we were starting. We got to like issue four or five before they canceled. So, but this book right here is responsible for, you know, the love that I have now for comics. And uh, mostly because it, they're just so enjoyable to read and you can kind of break away from the monotony of everyday life. But also, you know, what what I encourage these guys to do with the comic books or what they do is, you know, it encourages them to read. And I think that's awesome. You know, they can kind of step step away from the cell phones or the television or the game systems and stuff like that and just kind of read and, you know, use their imagination and, and, and hear, hear a story. So basically... That's why it, it's it's a family affair now, you know. My kids are in in the comics. I'm in the comics. My wife even dabbles into them a little bit from time to time. Um, so so it's a it's a family affair now. We we are a, a comic family, uh, and our collection is slowly growing because we're you know we're one income family. So we don't have all the keys that I would like to buy, but what I get what I get. I'm happy with because it, it's just like I said it's a passion that I just love and it's just the thrill of the of the of the, the seek of the of the comics you know and we go to the cons we look through the books and we go to our local comic shop and it's just it's an amazing thing but like I said I get I almost get more joy seeing seeing their happiness when they get new their new books for the month their subscriptions and, you know, I enjoy seeing them read them. And it's it's just, it, it makes me it makes me more happy seeing them enjoy them as, as much as I do now. So, uh, so you have any, uh, any special memories, comic memories that stands out? Probably. Since we've started collecting for you? I think this one. Ugh! <laughs> Give me this. It's graded. Oh, I need a knife. Here. No. Oh. Here, pull it out. Secret Wars number eight. Let's see it. Hold it up. First appearance. 
of Venomized Spider-Man. You got there, Ava. Pony stated. Yeah, look at it. It's signed by Agnes Garbosco. It's signed? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> this, this is by far the best gift of today. And like I said, seeing their happiness when they got these, when I gave them these books for Christmas last year, it was just, I don't know, it was, it was great. It was amazing. And, and now that, you know, we're, we're full fledged in the comics and stuff like now that I'm, I'm starting to get my feet wet into the comic community on YouTube. And I just think, you know, it, it's, it's wonderful. And there's so many great people in this community and I can't wait to to meet more of you as far as, you know, talk to you and stuff like that. And uh, I know it just seems like I'm I'm in, I'm all in now because uh, the community is wonderful. I'm, I love seeing the, the happiness on my kids' faces for, uh, for, for the comics. And uh, I do you guys ever see happiness on my face with comics? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Oh, yeah, you. <laughs> so, yeah. I remember this one time we went to the comic book store in um, downtown. And there was that one, I got that one book, that one pony book. Yep. It's the one with the skeleton pony. Yep. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And now. I remember seeing all these action figures. <laughs> yep. The whole yep. And so, I mean... Books. I just, I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little a little back history on me and uh, and just tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, my name is Jim. My name is Boat. He goes by Boat, and this is Ava. Ava. So we just wanted to, you know, my nickname introduce is. ourselves per se since we haven't really done it uh, and give you a little backstory on why I'm in the comics and how we got in the comics. And my nickname is. Yeah, so I owe, I owe everything to these kids getting me into the comic books, and thank you guys. You're welcome. Thank you, I appreciate it. It's a great, <laughs> it's great. So, thank you for taking the time to watch this. If you made it all the way through, and uh, I, I appreciate the the comic community. You guys are wonderful, and uh, you guys keep on keeping on, and talk to you next time. <laughs>